What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel where sometimes I watch cringy videos. Today we're going to be playing a game called Try Not to Cringe, where the goal of the game is trying not to cringe. Before you watch this video, before you even know if you like it or not, make sure to subscribe, like the video. I really hate watching cringe videos, but here we are doing it together. Let's check it out. Hi baby girl. <laughs> Everything's okay, I promise. I forgive you. It's okay, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay. I love you. So I don't know if he's like trying to get back at her by giving her motion sickness or something, or if he's trying to hypnotize her into like falling back in love with him with this fucking swang chair bullshit. But either way, this video double sucks because now I'm uncomfortable and I also need to take a fucking Dramamine. I love you so much. I love you more than there are grains of sand on every beach. Does he know how much love that is? That's like seven quintillion sand grains worth of love. That's, I don't know exactly how much that is, but that sounds like a lot of fucking love. I don't know if he can own up to that. I, I need you in my life. You mean more to me than Home Depot means to Mr. Logerado. <laughs> and you're just the most perfect, most beautiful girl in all of the world. And I love you so much. I hope you enjoy watching this baby girl. Baby girl. God, that fucking hurts. See you at school tomorrow, baby girl. See you at school tomorrow, baby girl. Ah, it hurts! It hurts! Oh my god. It's true. I love you more than anything else in the world. <laughs> Bye, baby girl. Stay perfect. Stop saying it. Just for me. Stay perfect just for me. What is this? Give me a second. I no. I need to get my story. No, 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 no. Pass. Okay. I love her. She's waiting for me. Just across the bar. My seat's been taken by some sunglasses. I spin by a scar and I. We are young. <laughs> They fucking flew away! There are three of them! So Is this shit on Spotify? <laughs> oh my god, that was actually great. Hey guys, Kristen Turner here, and for all of you people out there who are posting bad comments about Maddie B, please stop it and get a life. Because you're all pretty much stupid. I actually agree with his message. I don't think Matty B gets nearly enough credit for the advancements he's made in the hip-hop community. It was all a dream! And one thing. If you hate Matty B, you have no idea- Well, you would not want to meet me if you hate Matty B. Because I will destroy you, like, and I will mess you up. <laughs> this girl is a natural school bully. I've never met a child. Who's so fucking intimidating like that? Especially over something as trivial as Maddie B. Holy shit, imagine her in any other situation. Oh yeah, uh-huh. So, I better not hate Maddie B. Jesus. <laughs> My name is with her because I've, she's actually bossed me around a few hundred times. I will mess you up. If you don't like Maddie B, I'm gonna Maddie beat your ass. This is actually an HD, I hope you know that. What'd you just say? What the fuck did you just say? Yes. Oh god, please don't yes, do this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. No, stop. No. This is a good idea. Dance moves on a Tuesday morning. Who the fuck said that was a good idea? Who decided, like, hey, uh, yeah, this will really get the younger kids retweeting our, our broadcast. This will be great. Kids will love it. No way those pussies at Channel 6 thought of this shit. So now, our boy, James Freeman, is about to go walk up in that police station. Epic pwn the whole fucking squad. James Freeman is a savage. He's fearless. He's a fucking hero. But actually, he's just a prick who's trying to get a reaction out of people at this police station by 
asking them to buy him a Dr. Pepper because apparently they're public servants and that's their job. He wants them to freak out really bad and they don't do it. They're like pretty polite to him almost the entire video. I've seen parts of this video before and it literally makes me so uncomfortable. I start to get the fucking shakes. My ears start getting all sweaty. There's our boy. James Freeman. Exercising his rights at the Constitution. Look at him go. It's so funny the way he's looking around. Like he's got his camera like... He's like a two-year-old just sitting in the corner of the room, just like crying, but looking up at his mom every once in a while to make sure that she knows he's crying. Here we go, let's do it. Operation DP. I'm good, thank you. <sighs> oh, I just wanna record you. I'm just gonna expose you for what you are, receptionist. Can I help you? Uh, Sure, since you asked, uh, is there, is there a gas station nearby? Gas station, yeah, there's one, two blocks up. There you go. Um, you want to grab me a Dr. Pepper? Oh! No one. You asked if, you asked if you could help me. Hell yeah. Dr. Pepper machine right there. I prefer the one from the gas station. Got his The gas station. Working. Okay, well you asked if you could help me, so I was just offering to let God. you help me. What a fucking savage! You remember that part when he was like, "Yo, can I get a Dr. Pepper?" You need some help. Yeah, I just told you. I mean, it... I'm not gonna get you a Dr. Pepper. Okay, well, then don't ask if I if you can help. This me guy wants the me. reaction so bad. I mean, that's just you're, you're just not gonna yell be at him or something. Kick him no, out of the place. Don't talk to me at all. I don't do slate work. Sorry, I'm not gonna go get you a Dr. Pepper. Okay, we well, are a public servant. I thought it might be reasonable to ask. I mean, you you're the one who asked me if you could help me though. Yeah, I did. Okay, and if, if you don't want to help me, then don't ask. Jesus Christ, this guy's like trying to be helpful, like trying to be nice, not give the guy the reaction that this guy f desperately fucking wants. And this guy's just such a fucking prick. That's fine. Well, is I'm there not... something I can do for you as a police officer, not as a... Yeah, um, is there a gas station nearby? Uh, there's one about two blocks. Can you go grab me a Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Hell yeah, okay. number two. Did fucking you know, roast know. number two. That was awesome. I, mean, I just think that it's pretty disingenuous that you guys keep asking if you can help me, but you don't want to actually help me. I mean, so it's true. fine if you don't so want to help true. me. Is there anything I can help you with, please? How can you call yourself a fucking cop if you can't go get me a Dr. Pepper? Are you serious? I'm absolutely convinced that, can I help you? Act A, wooly, means I don't want you recording here. It must because everyone is asking me, but nobody's helping me. Yeah. I don't get it. You went to the police station, you asked people to walk across the street to get you a Dr. Pepper, and people are being, like, people are being rude about it. I don't get, understand why. He's just following him in there like a fucking creep. Leave him alone. Oh. Can I have a Dr. Pepper? Please! Okay, I'm not watching that anymore. That shit is hurting me. Alright, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Shout out of the week goes to Natalie. If you didn't know, I dropped merch earlier this month. Thank you to everyone who bought it and supported it. And that is gonna be it. See you in the next video. Bye.